is your maths instruction for Wednesday. OK, I'm going to flip my screen and talk you through each set of questions that you're going to be trying to answer today. OK, here we go. OK, hopefully that's come onto your screen now. OK, we're going to start with the year three ones. Now, year three, what we're going to do today is a bit of recap on your tally chart. So hopefully you've got that and you've done that from yesterday and you understood it, which from most of you I can see on your class dojos you have. OK, so it's using our tally charts to explain how many different pieces of fruit into your tally chart down here. OK, and then moving on to today's, which is pictograms. OK, now pictograms, all it is, is using images and pictures to represent our data. OK, we will need a key because there will always be a key to tell you how much each picture is worth. So this one's nice and easy if it's just one. OK, it's not always the case. So all we got to do is use our pictograms. You've got to use your circle to represent the data. So you find out how many apples if each circle represents one apple that's how many circles you would have to draw okay tommy's pictogram is a little different he says i will use a circle for every two pieces of fruit so each circles two pieces of fruit so if we've got our apples we count them up one two three four five six how many circles would we have to draw if each circle represents two so we'd have okay so one circle would be two four six okay because each circle represents two pieces and there are six apples okay off we go on that one okay question two again it's using our tally charts to help make sure we've got that correct okay and it says complete the pictogram using this data okay so this time our circle represents five so be careful with how many you have to draw in to our uh, represent how many chose football and how many chose netball okay and again this time our votes are 10 per circle now if you notice only five people chose tennis but each school, each circle represents 10. Now, five is half of 10. So hopefully you can realize that instead of drawing a whole circle to represent 10, we need to draw. Now I'll try my best on here. Half circle to represent five, not a whole circle. OK. And using that knowledge, you want to complete this one. OK, uh, you've got to create your own pictogram down here to present this data. OK, now the last bit you won't be able to do, but if you send it on Class Dojo, I'll be able to look and I can suggest any changes if you need to. OK, good luck year three, right year four. Yours is continuing on area. OK, this time you have been uh, working out area, area of shapes that you have seen have already been drawn. You are going to be drawing more of the shapes today. Now it's really important that you use a ruler and a pencil to draw and you can shade it in for me so I can see it a bit clearer. So using a coloured pencil or felt it very neatly to cut her in. OK, it's very important you do it neatly and keep inside the squares. OK, so on the second one, on the first one here, draw a shape with the given area. So seven squares okay so find a shape seven squares any shape okay 13 squares it says here draw two different shapes each with an area of eight so each shape's got to be eight but it's got to look different okay amir has created a shape my shape has an area of 10 squares and it is a rectangular tick the shape that admir could have made so think of the clues so clues are 10 squares in it's rectangular there are clues, see which one you think it could be. OK. I cannot make a large square using an odd number of small squares. OK, do you agree? Draw a picture to support your answer. So show me if you could make a square using uh, large squares using odd numbers. Have a go. Investigate it. Number six, draw two different rectangles, each with the area of 12. Again, so two different rectangles. Have a think at what times table. OK, for a clue. 1 times 12 equals 12. So we could have a rectangle that is 1, 12 along. If we've got space, you might not be able to. So have a look what times table 12 appears in to help you. OK. Number 7, add squares to the shape to make it a square. So where can we add some squares in to make it a square? So remember the 
properties of a square, each side has to be the same length. OK. Let's go for no one might be tricky number eight. Dora and Tommy have drawn rectangular shapes. OK, Tommy says he has made a different shape with the same area. And uh, do you agree with Tommy? Explain your answer. So think about how our shapes are viewed. OK, have they been turned? So if I turn it a certain way, will it look exactly like Dora's? Have a little think. Use six square sticky notes or square shapes. Make as many different rectangular shapes with the squares as you can. So it's always good to do it practically. So cut some out, use them on your table. Draw some of the shapes below. OK, and show me on Dojo. Good luck, guys. Can't wait to see your work. See you again soon.